This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're on a rooftop in the cloudy Miami today. I'd like to be joined by Joe Weller. Joe, it's been a while, mate. How you been keeping? Decent, mate. Decent. Obviously, here, it's not really safe, is it? <laughs> like, you know when they were facing off? I was thinking all it takes is like, you know when, obviously, they push and pull and stuff? And they're going to be off. But, uh, yeah, Miami, stunning place. Excited. As I mentioned, we are on a quite dangerous rooftop here. We just had the fight of face-offs. It seemed like all the fun and games sort of coming in there. We saw Jake Paul and Gibb, which is obviously what you're here for, coming head-to-head. -head. Like I say, it was all business. There was no laughing and joking for the majority of it. Business here. Did you see that from Gibb today? The switch has just sort of gone a bit ready for fight night? 100%. I think you saw, like, both of them are in that cold-hearted killer sort of mode. Whereas the KSI Logan one was, Logan was, like, dicking about. JJ was trying to, you know, JJ was in the zone. I think both these guys are there. Uh, I feel like Jake was, a, was, was more rattled uh, than Gibb. I think Gibb's just focused. He doesn't really care about all this media bollocks. He just wants to fight. And I think that's the difference. You know, I just looking at him, he, he, he's there. And I think Gibbo's going to do it. And I hope he does as well. Just to take it back, Joe, for, for our fans that might know where the hell this all came from. Jake, for months and months after this man was calling him out, was saying, who is Gibb? I don't need this guy. Forget it. I'm not even sure Gibb himself believed we'd ever get to this point. How and why are we here? Deep down, mate, I think Jake Paul needs Anderson Gibb. I think that's what it comes down to. Like, you know, Jake's not doing the best, obviously, numbers-wise, relevancy, all of that. And he wants the KSI fight. That's, that's what's going to absolutely propel him into, like, you know, bigger things in his head. Um, but it's mad because... When obviously after mine and JJ's fight, Jake was like, I'm not going to fight you, KSI, I don't need you. And now like, the tables are turned, and now he needs Anderson Gibb. Like, it doesn't make sense, but it's, but it's sick, it's good. You mentioned it there, do you think Jake is just seeing this as nothing more than a stepping stone for himself? Because we know he's made no secret of wanting to fight KSI now, the tables have turned. Do you think he's just viewing this as one step away from, from getting the big shark, so to speak? Yeah, he's doing the classic dangerous thing of overlooking what's in front of him. Gib, you ask him what's next, he says, I don't know, don't care. Next week, uh, uh, Thursday is all that matters. Whereas Jake's, he's got different uh, views on different things that he wants to do and I, I don't think that's the healthiest place to be. Yes, I do think he's overlooking Gib, without a doubt. Whether it, he'll never admit it, subconsciously, if you're even talking about the future, you are. Because well, how can you make plans on the future if you ain't done the present yet? Do you know what I mean? So... Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think overall Gibbo's in the in the better place. He's ready to rumble more. He's going to make it a war, turn it into more of like a white collar sort of fight, scrap, and uh, he's going to get the win. I think. I was going to talk to you about that. How we expect the styles to sort of gel in this. We obviously haven't seen too much of either, but from what Vidal's told me and what I've seen of Gib, he likes to come forward, put pressure on, throw a lot of punches, and almost swarm his opponent. Do you think that's what he's going to be looking to do? And he's been doing a lot of high altitude running. Do you think he's just going to look to just throw and throw because that can be effective to a certain level. Yeah. Without a doubt, that's all he has to do. It's the same as like JJ did on Logan. It was pressure, 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 pressure. Doesn't matter if it misses or if it's scrappy, just pressure him and you're going to win. Because over six rounds, mate, there's not enough time to do all the technical stuff. It's just, you know, you've got to put it on. And that is what he is literally better at than anyone. No, I'm saying how you're you better. Shit about me. Mate, I can't wait for you to watch us back. I'm literally bigging What's you up so much. About me now? Brother, I'm literally What's saying. What's he saying about me now? I'm literally saying yeah. how better than anyone, what you're made of yeah. is to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. The, the tougher it gets going, yes. the tougher you get. He's Do you gonna, know what I mean? He's going to be so shocked enough. Yeah, and that's what I'm Up saying. I'm Big Bear, but he's facing Big Gibber. Yeah. <laughs> We've just been talking about this, Gib. Saving that one. Gib, I'm not saying it in the mirror. <laughs> We'll come back to you, Joe. He's run away. He called you out. You're gone. Maybe you're next. Who knows? Anyway, back to it. You've been in that environment when there's all this adrenaline. You perhaps haven't got as much experience as a, a, a standard professional boxer. How hard is it to deal with, as you say, KSI did it. We're expecting Gibb to do it. There's someone just coming forward. No regard so much for technique as such. Just unloading and loading and putting that mental and physical pressure on you at the same time. Well, this all is draining. All of this is adrenaline constantly going through your body. Your body's already like, ready. It's ready to fight now. So that by the time the fight comes, the last thing you want is someone that's on you, on you, on you. You'd prefer to go against someone who's going to stand off and try and pick their shots than someone that's going to absolutely go like at you like I would have thought. And I think Jake Starr is going to be that. He's going to want to stand off and be very technical. Gibbs going to... I mean, you see, see the energy he's bringing now. The only thing I hope is that all of this energy that he's clearly got, this excited energy, doesn't, but come Thursday, have a bit of like a dump, sort of like an, an adrenaline dump. I don't think so because he's always like bonkers anyway.
But uh, yeah, I think he'll be fine. Gibbo's going to win. Gibbo's class. <laughs> Just to come on, uh, Vidal Riley, who stood over there, obviously being coaching Gibb, and he's, he's sort of assembled a team to put him through his paces physically, mentally, and get him ready for this. Vidal had his doubt as, as a coach before the second KSI Logan Paul fight. Silenced them. He, he sort of gave JJ everything he needed to go out there and do his job. How important do you think Vidal Riley's going to be to Gibb and will have been to him as well? From right through from when he started, he's been there since the beginning. Without a doubt, I think, yeah, it's the stuff that goes on in camp that's the main stuff. But say if something does start going wrong in, in a round, I think he'll be able to calm him down. Like, I always watch him when we're ringside, like how he conducts himself with, with the fight uh, in the corner. It's always so composed. Never, like only once has he lost his shit. And that's when uh, I think in JJ did one round where he did nothing. Yeah. But apart from that, he's so like con composed. And I think, yeah, you can, I mean, I don't, I've never been in a camp or a training session with him, but from the outside, he just looks like the ideal person for like a YouTube fighter. Does that make sense? It's, yeah, so yeah, I think he's great. It's unbelievable how the scales have sort of rebalanced out between these two guys over the last sort of couple of years. Who needs who more, in your opinion? Uh, well, to be honest, obviously it's, it depends what you want because Gibb, I mean, Gibb's not aiming to be the world's best actor, you know, singer whatever like Jake is Jake's wanting to be number one and he needs he needs this fight to get the KSI fight to get to reach the heights that he wants obviously Gibbs got good ambition and stuff but I don't think he he's not wanting Jake Paul uh, nah it's different because then who needs who more good question, right? because what this has done for Gibbs career is mad it's yeah. sick it's unreal it's like he is now even just getting this fight mate he is like, to all of us, it's like, mate, fair play. You've gone from opening FIFA packs to freaking taking on Gibb in Miami. Like, that alone is amazing. And what that's done for Gibb, you know, what would Gibb, Gibb be doing otherwise? I mean, I'm not going to lie, mate. A lot of us are all at a point where, you know, we've done YouTube for a while now and it's to a point where we want to do the next thing. We want to try something new. So I think they both need each other massively. But given uh, Jake needs that KSI fight I think that's that's when that fight happens it's Jake absolutely needing KSI and KSI that's what may make it not happen J JJ doesn't doesn't need to do it obviously you're back on punditry commentary duties this week I saw you out in LA when we're out there for the KSI Logan Paul fight having the time of your life enjoying it enjoying the media responsibility you seem to be thriving under the pressure of that sort of new role yeah. looking forward to get back into that this week 100% mate look I, it's weird and I don't, I don't know how I feel about it sometimes because you know part of me is like oh I'm, I'm good at talking about it, but you know you want to be good at doing it. You want to, be, you, want, you know, everyone can talk about it. You want to be able to show what you can actually do. And yeah, part of me thinks like that. Um, but at the same time, you know, I love, I do love talking about it. <laughs> like, I do, I do enjoy working with Sky, doing all that stuff. Like a lot of these pressured situations. I mean, I know it's a lot, way more pressure, you know, doing what they're doing. But you know, the pressure of having to like confront different people and, and talk on camera, representing Sky Sports. You know, it is daunting. Like you do think, you know, am I going to do this right? Am I, I don't want to. I don't want to do a bad job. So um, yeah, the fact that I'm doing it, having fun with it, and it's going well is, you know, um, it's uh, a, like an achieve sense of achievement, I guess. Final couple ones from me, Joe. Obviously, you're more in the know than I. Vidal came out recently and caused a bit of a stir by saying, after this fight, win, lose or draw with Gibb, I'm done with coaching. It's time to focus on me. And your decision is that the right mind? Do you think all of this as fantastic as been will have run its course for a man that probably needs to focus on his boxing career? Yeah, I mean, he has every right to, to be honest. You know, he's, he's done a lot for the YouTube community and the YouTube community's done a lot for him. So it's like, it's, it's been good. Um, definitely think it's ready, you know, it's time for him to do his own thing now and focus, focus on his career. Without a doubt, this is the perfect time. Um, saying that, that's why I also think that the JJ, Jake Gibb may, may not happen because I think once you've built such a relationship, you know, what he's done for, say, JJ Gibb, all, the, all these guys is taking them from people that sit in their bedroom and do nothing to elite athletes and it's like the person that's done that I don't know if they if it's going to be easy to just go off and do that with someone else and have the same sort of chemistry belief trust you know all of that stuff that I think you need so um yeah it'll be interesting to see I, I actually think this may be the end of YouTube boxing the yeah. owner like oh yeah this is just the beginning but there's not many YouTubers that one will draw in the numbers and two want to do it but, so yeah, we have to enjoy it while it lasts, mate. So you think it might be the end? Do you think it should be the end as well? Obviously, we've hit such high peaks. Los Angeles was a, a seismic event. I don't think any of us realised just how big until we got out there. This again in Miami. You saw all the media down here today. I think this might be the right time to send off and, and let it be. 
think so. It's, honestly, I think so. Uh, the viewers, I think, have enjoyed it. The only fight that I think they'll really get up for now is either, yeah, it's probably KSI Jake, but even then, I think they'd prefer, especially the UK audience, would prefer to see Gibb end the, you know, Jake and end the pools and it be done here. Um, I think this could be could be could be the end. But anyways, I've got to go do a Sky interview now. Yeah. So, hasta luego. Cheers. Thanks as always, Joe. Take no care. Worries, mate. No worries. Cheers.